Co-sponsor of this motion, Mr. President, this morning I listened to the Nigerian Association of Resident Doctors on television, and I think we can marry part of their demands with our discussions here. They made it known that on May 19, 2023, which is this year, they signed an MOU with federal government after meeting with the Senate and House of Rep Committee on Health. And that within that period and now, nothing has come out of the MOU. So I want to, I want to add that we make appeal to them to resume work and possibly work on how the agreement reach as contained in the MOU could be settled within them. They made known of three demands, sir. That they request for one for one replacement policy for healthcare workers. That's a policy. That they want immediate payment of all salaries, areas, and new hazard allowance. That was what point of order. Mr. President. Mr. President, sir. I stand to amend the motion that we referred the issue to a committee of the Senate when constituted because they said that they've met with the combined committees of the Senate and the House of Rep before and an MOU had been signed. I would rather suggest that we take off from the point of that MOU. I saw so submit. So the... Uh, I present Colonel North. Mr. President, I'm a co-sponsor of this motion, and uh, I want to reiterate that popular saying that health is life. And who are the managers, who are the key people that drive our healthcare delivery system? Of course, the doctors. So, if the doctors are not working, it therefore means that our healthcare sector will be grounded. And it's grounded as we say, as I mean as we speak. Uh, it's therefore very, very important. Very, very, very important. I will do all within our powers to make them come back to work. Because if we don't do that, then we all know that health is life, then there won't be life. Or our lives will be in great jeopardy. So I align myself with the, all that is said in this motion. I align myself to the intendment of this motion because it's very, very, very important that we get our doctors back to work. Otherwise, we'll be in problem. It is said over and over again that as we speak, there's a disease outbreak in some parts of this country. Now, do we now add salt to an open injury? No, we wouldn't do that. Therefore, let's all agree to the prayers of this motion. Let's all agree to, the, to this motion in its entirety so that we will bring back our doctors to their various hospitals and will enhance and also make sure that our lives will be saved because we will have the service of these doctors. I urge my colleagues to support this motion in its entirety so that all the periods will be resolved in the manner that it will be beneficial to the entire country. I should submit. Thank you. This is, so let's just go straight to the prayers. Prayer one, urge the federal government to immediately engage with the leadership of the resident doctors to address their grievances and find lasting solutions to end the ongoing strike. Those who are in support of this prayer won't say aye. Those against say nay, the aye serve it. Prayer two, encourage the federal government to address the underlying issues leading to frequent strikes in the health sector 
and develop sustainable policies to prevent future occurrences, thereby safeguarding the health and well-being of all Nigerians. Those who are in support of prayer to say aye. Those who are against say nay. The eyes have it. Prayer three, emphasize the need for the federal government to prioritize investments in the healthcare sector, including the improvement of healthcare infrastructure, capacity building for medical personnel, and the development of policies to enhance healthcare delivery in Nigeria. Those who are in support of prayer three say aye. Those who are against say nay. The eyes serve it. Call on the resident doctors to consider the humanitarian implications of their strike action and prioritize the well-being and lives of patients, particularly in the face of the diphtheria disease outbreak in many parts of our dear country. Those who are in support of prayer for say aye, and those who are against say nay, the eyes have it. Prayer five, mandate relevant committees of the Senate when considered to conduct an inquiry into the underlying issues leading to the resident doctor's strike and, there, and, there, and, there have, and therefore make recommendations for the sustainable resolution of their concerns. Those who are in support of prayer five say aye. Those again say nay. The ayes have it. Prayer six. Direct the Federal Ministry of Health through the Center for Disease Control, CDC, to swiftly implement measures to contain the spread of diphtheria diseases in affected states and thereafter ensure that necessary medical supplies and resources are readily made available to combat this outbreak. Those who are in support of prayer six say aye. Those who are against say nay. The eyes have it. Let me, on behalf of the Senate, thank our dear brother. Very. Yes, Senator Bangida. The good people of Jigawa Northwest, I'm from Jigawa State, sir. The additional prayer is that the federal government to create opportunities for effective participation of the private sector in establishing medical colleges to produce more medical doctors for the health sector in Nigeria. I thank uh, distinguished senators Salisu Afolabi, distinguished deputy senate president Senator Barao Jibrin, and distinguished senator Akintunde Yunus Abiodun for this all important prayer and, and hope that the resolutions of the Senate as met today will be implemented with seriousness and also taken into consideration in the ongoing uh, strike. We also hope that the resident doctors will listen to the plea of the Nigerian Senate as met today uh, to end this strike, particularly taking cognizance of the humanitarian uh, uh, aspect of it, the number of lives that are lost, is their, their provision is generally to save lives, not to lose lives. So we from the Senate are appealing to them that yes, while the ongoing negotiations uh, are, are being made, that they should consider and um, suspend this strike in the humanitarian interest for the benefit of all Nigerians, even for the benefit of their families. And uh, we will continue to monitor the progress. Thank you, Leader of the Senate. Thank you.